good morning YouTube. I want to do a quick review of a knife I picked up recently and that's the, uh, the Cold Steel Fin Bear. Uh, I got this knife for right around $14 including shipping on eBay and it's got a four inch blade made by Cold Steel. This is uh, Krupp Steel as they call it and you can see it's, it says Taiwan. Um, I had a little reservations at first. It's a very thick heavy I guess a hard plastic handle. It's got a weird tip, weird, weird profile to it, but it's not bad. And it does feel very good in the hand. I wanted to try this knife out. And recently I had the opportunity to not only gut but skin a deer. And I use this knife almost entirely. I have a Smith & Wesson skinning knife and this thing ran circles around it. This thing is incredible. Um... When I gut the deer, I will tell people if you were going to gut a deer with this knife, be very careful. This thing is, right out of the box, ridiculously sharp. Has an edge on it like no other knife I've ever bought, at least right out of the box. I've sharpened knives to the point where this one is, but never did I get one that's like this. Especially for the money, for, for really like $14. Um, it's a great knife. I think for the amount of money you're spending on it, you're not going to get a better knife out of the box. Um, yes, I know it says made in Taiwan, and there are some people that are put off by that, but in this day and age where money is money and you need stuff on a budget, th this is great. This is the sheet that comes with it. It's not fantastic. Simple nylon sheath. But what I like about it is, is the knife fits right in there quite well. It's very well protected. You're not gonna. It's not gonna come out. You can shake this thing all day long. You know. Again, it's a four-inch blade, eight and a half inches overall. Here it is compared to my U.S. Air Force survival knife. I would not use this necessarily as a survival knife. I would say it's better than nothing. Um, the one thing I like is that solid one-piece handle. It's it's very tough. It's very heavy duty. So that uh, if you didn't have anything else like this type of knife, um, I would certainly you're you're not gonna you're not gonna cut wood with this and split wood. That's where a hatchet would come in handy. Um, but for just like everyday chores, gutting, skinning, stuff like that, cutting rope, smaller things, this is perfect. And again, especially for the money. What I would tell people is buy buy two. Because they keep one in a pack somewhere because they're cheap. You know, if you can get one for $13, $14, which you can, get a second one. Keep it in a pack somewhere. And keep one, like, in a vehicle, something. Because, I mean, these this thing's great. I mean, for the amount of money you're going to spend on some of these higher-end knives, two, three, four hundred dollars $400, that are advertised, this is this is much better. I mean, the uh, blade's pretty pretty thick. It's It's very strong. And it's got a, it, most people are over here are not used to this type of profile because this is more this is like almost like a Scandinavian profile knife. If you look at some of the some of the Puku knives and you'll see Finland use in their hunting knives, they have this type of profile. Well, some people complain about this. Um, I think it depends on the size of your hand and where your where your finger the joints fall. In. For me, this is this is perfect. I'm squeezing this as hard as I possibly can right now. I'm white knuckling it, and it does not hurt at all. I mean, this thing, this is great. So, all in all, for roughly $14, go out and get yourself one of these cold steel fin bears. Um, I think for an everyday hunting knife for all around chores, you're not going to spend. I mean, this, this is my. I've carried other knives for years. This is now my knife that's going to go out with me in the fall because it's, it, it does such a good job. I have other knives. I love them dearly, but, but this thing right here has come along and surprised, absolutely surprised the daylight said to me how good this knife is. So, like I said, uh, for the amount of money, go out and grab yourself one of these or two. Keep one you know, on you for like when you're out in the woods and keep another in the pack somewhere. You can't, uh, you can't beat the price. Have a good day, YouTube.